Hey everyone, this is Shannon Rose with Topaz Labs here with another top tip. Today we're going to be looking at an adjustment I'm not sure too many people know about, image layer adjustments. Now this tutorial is going to be a little longer than others just because I really got into the presentation of this image. We have the original photo of this woman with a scarf around her head standing in a field, and I also have this image of truffles of blue flowers off to the side. I chose these photos because I liked the simplicity of the portrait, and the flowers complemented her eyes beautifully. This is a pretty simple and nifty trick. I'm also going to show you a few extra tips and tricks at the end, so let's go ahead and jump in. An important thing to note is there are two ways to achieve the image layer adjustment. Either you can go up to adjustments and scroll down to the bottom of the list where it says image layer, click it, and as you can see a layer opens kind of to the same effect as a blank workspace in studio. Now from there you can drag and drop or click and select an image. It's important to note that you can only select images already opened in studio. The second way you can do this is select the image you want to work on, grab the image you want to make your image layer, and simply drag it into the adjustment column. Now that the adjustment layer is active, make sure the image location is on the foreground, then go into the mask and mask out this girl's face. I like to bring the opacity down on the layer so I can see where I need to mask out, and I also like to create a loose mask at first, then go back and clean up the edges. This may take a few moments, so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward. That's pretty much how you use image layer adjustments, but I'm not quite done with this yet. There are a few things I still wanna do to it, so let me go ahead and show you. So you notice the color of her eyes and the color of the flowers are a bit off. Don't worry about it, we can fix it. Go to the Adjustments, Color Overlay, and double click the white color, and the color wheel will pop up. Now, I've already done this, so as opposed to waste time finding the right color, we're going to just put in the color code. Click the second tab to bring up the RGB sliders and put in the hex color of 7374D9. Click the mask, Invert, so only the eyes are affected, and mask out her irises. Finally, bring the opacity to 0.50. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and focus on her mouth. Her lips are looking a little dry and like a bit of color for such a pretty picture, so let's go ahead and fix all of that. We're going to grab the Smudge tool, go to Adjustments, Smudge, and select the mask. Make sure your black is selected and mask out her lips. Then invert the mask so only her lips are affected. Bring the strength to 0.13, and as you can see, that really softens up her mouth. Now let's make it look a little more natural and bring the extent to 0.19. Next, grab the HSL color tuning adjustment. Now this is an extremely useful tool if you haven't already used it. It allows you to isolate the colors within a photo and adjust them to however you like. For her, we're going to focus on the red and the magentas and go back and edit the overall hue and saturation. Go to the adjustments and select HSL color tuning. Before we start though, we're gonna go ahead and copy the mask from the previous layer. So go up to the mask and smudge and select the sandwich menu and then click copy mask. Then go to the HSL color tuning, click the mask, click the sandwich menu, click Paste Mask, and then click Done when you're complete. You'll notice when you get into this adjustment, there's an array of color along with an overall saturation. So we're gonna go ahead and select the red and bring the red saturation up to 0.35, and then the red lightness down to negative 0.18. This gives the lips a much healthier look, but we're gonna go ahead and finesse that a little bit further by adding a little bit of magenta. So bump that saturation in the magenta up to 0.31 and the lightness down to 0.27. Now go ahead and go back to the overall saturation and make that 0.04 and the lightness 0.08. 
Now, if you take the time to toggle this layer on and off, you'll notice how much more color we really put into her lips. Okay, y'all, last step. I'm noticing there's a lot of noise to this photo, so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of as much as possible. Let's grab the Reduce Noise tool and Adjustments, Reduce Noise. And with this tool, I kind of just play with it until I find something that I like, and then I run with it. So let's make the Remove Noise 0.34, the Fine Noise 0.29, and the Color Noise 0.44. Now sometimes with this tool, it can make the image a little blurry. So let's go and make the reduced lens blur around 0.16. Um, so I might have lied about that being the last trick. Uh, I have another trick to show you. I'm noticing that my flowers still have a lot of noise compared to the rest of the photo. So I'm gonna go into my image layer, go to the bottom of this layer, click the big plus sign that says enhance, select reduce noise, Again, like I said, I play with these until I get a setting that looks best to me. And let's go ahead and make Remove Noise 0.37, Fine Noise 0.46, Color Noise 0.45, and let's fix that blur by making the Reduce Lens Blur about 0.24. Okay, I promise, that was the last step, we're done. We will have a tutorial on HSL, color tuning, and the enhancement tool very soon. So keep checking in on top tips with Topaz Labs.